Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals, and today we're going to be running a sample of these oyster shells through one of our 6x10 jaw crushers. And the goal here is to crush these up and liberate this rope so it can be hand picked out from the shell after it's crushed. So let's get this thing fired up and we'll see how it goes. So I wasn't really happy with the throughput through the jaw crusher, so now we're gonna try the same oyster shells with rope attached through one of our 16 by 12 hammer mills with no screen and see how that works. So here's the rope and shell after uh, the hammer mill, and as you can see, it ran way, way faster than the hammer mill. I was, I was much uh, happier with uh, the throughput from the hammer mill, but um, the rope came, came clean. It didn't roll up or bind up in the hammer mill at all because uh, there wasn't any screen. The shells, I think, actually got crushed a little bit finer than through the jaw crusher. Um, so I think overall, it was a, a great test. Right now we're working with one of the largest oyster growers on the West Coast uh, to help solve their issue with this rope, which they're telling us is one of the biggest environmental problems that they have in the industry today. And they're looking for a primary crusher to liberate the rope and the shell, and then a secondary crusher that's gonna take the, the broken shell with no rope and crush it down to fine powder so they can uh, use it in their, in their growing operation. So, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you have any questions or comments, please let us know. You can find our contact info in the description below. Well, thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.